Residue follows 17-year-old Jack Bishop after his father is abducted and a monster is let loose in a small town. As he looks for his father, he begins to notice that he can see the psychic residue left behind by monsters and murder victims. Along with the mind reading to Alex Courtney, Jack uses his growing ESP abilities to stop the deaths in the town and find out why his father was taken. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host Liam, aka Hembar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Steve Diamond's Residue. Residue is a 2015 YA horror novel by Steve Diamond. In it, Jack Bishop is a 17-year-old when his father goes missing. With budding ESP abilities, he needs to track down his father that has seemingly been abducted by monsters. His point of view is in first person, actually. The other character is Alexandra Courtney, or Alex. She works for Helix in a high-ranking capacity you generally wouldn't expect of a teenager. Uh, she is the one who calls Jack, uh, calls in Jack's father the night he goes missing during the prologue where werewolf-like creatures have broken into the Helix facility and rescued a mysterious being known as the Leech. She also has powers she can read minds. Her chapters are told in third person, which I didn't find rough going from first with Jack and third to Alex, personally. Uh, the story itself is very straightforward, and so is the prose. It's actually rather fast-paced. It's something you'd expect from a thriller of sorts and also YA, I think. Uh, it's just as important, um, right, uh, in a paranormal story. Uh, with something like the fear, dread, and shock uh, that Diamond is uh, good for. After promising plenty in the prologue, Diamond delivers, actually, and there is much going on here. Uh, new themes, actually, just about each chapter. Um, it's done with the YA tropes, with school and a budding romance, um, prom, <laughs> but it's creepier and way gorier than most YA, uh, and I think this contrast in tone works quite well. It gets really gory at times, especially in the later half of the book. I don't feel like that's really a spoiler, but it becomes very much kind of a shoot 'em up almost. Um, there are also some top secret, almost spy-like elements um, you'd expect kind of in like a thriller. Of course, this involves corporations like Helix and White Genetics um, with the insider character and Alex, a theme kind of of privacy is apparent uh, and how much of that privacy is, well, an illusion really. Um, the locale is, is made up, but it's Eureka, California-esque. Um, and honestly, there is a good story here, but there's definitely more to it. And there is going to be a sequel actually that comes out, uh, this year, I believe in September, 2023 called Parasite. So we'll see how that, uh, holds like, well, what that gets into exactly. But I think this me means it's a good time to read Residue because it's shortly before the sequel finally comes out. So, um, anyways, I don't read much why horror or YA anything for that matter. In fact, I don't read much horror or YA, um, but I really enjoyed this one and it's really easy to get into. So that's one thing I liked about it. Um, and it definitely kept me entertained. I really enjoyed it. So anyways, um, Liam from Liam's Lyceum, I will catch you next time.